Hey everyone, it's Fat Frog, and in this video I'm going to show you some graphic settings that I use that should help you have a smoother running Ark Survival Ascended, and also some in-game settings and tricks, some of which are going to make a massive difference, and others that'll help a little bit. And then we'll also discuss a few things other people say uh, help, but I haven't really found a noticeable difference. I'll mention them in case they help you out. If you're wondering what my hardware is, I'll quickly say that my GPU and my RAM only meet the minimum requirements for the game. And you can check the rest of that in the description. Right now I have the default high settings on, so it looks nice, but the frame rate's basically unplayable on my system. But we want to know what the exact uh, FPS is. So we're going to bring that up using uh, commands that are available to anybody. We're going to do that by hitting the tilde key, which is way up in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard above the tab key and next to the number one. That's going to bring up a thin command line down there on the bottom, and I'll magnify that in editing. So you can see what I'm doing. So we're very, very simply going to hit stat, S-A-T, space, F-P-S. And we're going to hit enter. And over on the right-hand corner there, or right-hand side, it's going to display our FPS, which is a whopping 8 to 9 right now, which is absolute garbage. I'm going to do another command before we get into the video settings, which is also going to make a huge difference, especially in the end. It's probably only going to give us a couple frames right now, but in the end, it'll probably give us 15 extra FPS. So we're going to hit the tilde key again, and we're going to type in R dot volumetric. And as you can see, as you type in here, um, it will autofill if you hit the tab key. And now we want a space, and then we're going to hit the number zero and boom so right now we've only got about another two and a half um, frames per second but we're um, well on our way to getting so we can play this game so we're going to hit escape and we're going to go into settings okay so i've got all my presets set at high um, if you have a higher end system you might want to just turn all these effects off i think that's going to help you out a bit um, but we're going to start with a graphical setting preset of low we're going to be here at 1080p. We're definitely not going to try to mess with 4K, even though I've got a monitor for it. Um, let's move down here. Uh, Anti-aliasing is at medium. You could try to go high because we're going to try to do a few things that are going to give us a good frame rate, but are also going to give us a pretty decent um, view as well. So we're going to leave our uh, view distance at low, our textures at low, 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 low. We're going to leave general shadows high. Global illumination quality, I'm going to go down to medium. And then foliage quality, quality. I'm going to also go down to medium. And so that's pretty good. But we're also going to go over here onto the right-hand side of the menu, and we're going to turn off light bloom. Um, we're going to hit save. And now it says we must go to the main menu and reload the map for changes to take effect. So we're going to go back, and then we're going to go exit the menu and return. So as we're cruising around now, you know, we're moving around, we're dropping down into the 40s, but I find this pretty playable for my system, and I think it looks okay. I think the shadows um, add a little bit to the game. Again, your mileage is going to vary, and you're going to have to play around with these settings, but that should be a good start. The other thing that's going to uh, kill frame rates is the number of tames and stuff that you have around. And uh, so I would kind of limit that as much as possible. Or if you have a bunch of tames, you can store them outside a render distance at maybe a little sub base or something like that. The other thing you can do to help out with that sort of situation, though, is you can just turn your HUD off, which is backspace. And that's going to usually help you with the frames if you've got a lot of dinos. Of course, now you can't see uh, any information, but the other thing you can do, which is probably even uh, better, not for frame rates, but for gameplay, is to hit the end key. And I just did it over there. You can see the Iguanodon there on the left that's close to me, still has its name, but when I hit end, the ones that are further away uh, go away and show back up when I come closer. So that helps as well. The other thing you may want to do is limit the amount of fires that you have. I've noticed that, especially at night, the amount of fires um, can affect your frame rate. So you can keep them off, keep the number of torches down to a minimum, um, or ju you know just use those things when you actually need them. So that seems to help a little bit as well. 
let's check out another thing too while we're at it. Let's go back into our video settings and there we go. There's a little checkbox here for max frame rate and then you can also change that max frame rate. So it's set to 60 um, and I think that's good, but I have heard other people uncheck this box and it's improved their overall frame rate. I haven't seen much of a frame rate uh, increase and usually having this uh, checkbox here actually improves the stability of your system. So I wouldn't mess with that. So we'll just go back and do that. So we're going to resume. Now there's one other thing that has a, seems to have a huge effect in this game, at least for now, hopefully they'll optimize it further sooner is the time of day. So if it's morning, it's like dawn and dusk, the frame rate seems to drop way down and if your system is really struggling, I might just keep it uh, at daytime. So you're only going to be able to do this in single player. Um, let's bring up that command line again. So again, only single player. Obviously, you're not going to be able to change the time on the server unless you're the admin. So what we're going to do is set the time of day. So that's all one word. Again, I'm going to put all these um, commands in the description so you don't have to memorize them here or anything like that. And now we're going to just put the uh, time in at 24 hour clock. So right now we're getting low 50s. Um, let's do five o'clock in the morning and see what that does to our frame rate. So there we are, we're at 24. So just the time of day has dropped our frame rate by half. So if you're struggling, you might just want to have it uh, set at noon. So in order to do that, we're gonna set the time of day again but we're gonna set it to noon. There we go. Now we're back up to low 50s again. Now you can keep just changing the time of day if you want, but if again, you're on single player, we can exit out of the game. So let's go do that. All right, so as we go launch here, we're gonna go into the advanced tab. We're going to go over now onto the world drop menu here. Now we're going to go to day cycle speed. We've got day time speed and we've got night time speed. Now I usually run the day slower and the night uh, faster, but what we can do is just go all the way down to zero. So you can set that and then now the time of day um, will never change. And that doesn't affect like uh, time dependent things like taming or spoil timers or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it changing that. So then we're just going to uh, go to single player here and uh, relaunch. Another thing that's available to you that I haven't messed with because it isn't uh, available for my particular graphics card very much is this RTX settings here. And that's going to give you some more options to play with, but I don't have that option available. So I can't really comment too much on that. So I think the game looks okay. It certainly doesn't look great for all the hype with the least with the system that I got, but I think it's all right. Hopefully they'll be optimizing it uh, soon. Some of the optimization that they've already done has improved frame rates for me already. So hopefully in the next few weeks, they'll be a lot better. I hope this video gives you a good start on uh, improving your FPS and the look of the game as much as possible. Um, if there's anything new that comes available, either with updates or whatnot, I will put that in the description. If it's really good, I'll post a uh, pinned comment so you can check over there. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.